I feel like I need it. Whenever I do need it, I try and press it. It doesn't do anything. Let's test on this toothy torpedo. Oh my god! What the shit is that? Oh, oh my god! No, no! Hey guys, before this episode starts, just a real quick reminder that on Sunday the 5th of April, or Saturday night on the 4th, for those of you on the other side of the dateline, the videos will start to come out 2 hours earlier. 12pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, or 10pm Eastern Daylight Time, is going to be the new normal release time. Okay, that's all, on with the episode. G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero where I'm back to continue exploring the oceans. And in the last episode, last couple of episodes actually, we found a bunch of really cool stuff that we need to kind of like build on. Keep on going, see what we can find if we push a little deeper. And the first thing I want to do today is go jump in old mate Pudgy up there who's now redocked and ready to go. Also filled with some water and food, some extra power cells and my grab trap. All the things I talked about doing previously, I've gone ahead and done so i've got them stored away in pudgy boy over there i'm going to take him and go off to those like floating balloon pad things the things were like simply holding up some bowls and stuff because it reminds me of the old uh like sticky floaties that in uh original subnautica that were like making islands and stuff so i'm i know it's a new biome there might be something new out there i want to go explore it but before i leave my home base one thing i do want to do is bring all my batteries with me grab all of you now i could take the prawn suit i could take him out there the only reason i kind of want to is because he does have that double fist to pump thing going on where he can like double fist any sort of big shark that comes for him but he doesn't have the same kind of depth that pudgy boy has pudgy can go down to 500 and prawns can only go to like like 400 i think it was no that's my one they're gonna put all you guys in there run out of space that's all right got some more storage all around the place let's put the rest of these in this one so i have all the supplies that i might need on a big grand adventure plus i have the grab the grab trap if i need to get some more fish while i'm out and about so let's jump in pudgy boy here turn on our headlights and head off over this way i think it was uh, I think that's the one I've already been to. I just didn't take the marker off my memory. So that might be where I need to go. Let's head out that way, find that new biome, and go exploring. Let's just see what we can find. Let's just see where the currents take us. Let's ride that East Australian current and ride a couple turtles. I'm sticking to the, like, the cliff face, the walls of the island as much as possible. If I stay over here, hopefully I won't attract too much attention from the old flippy fin crocodiles out here. Because they're just like, they're my, my biggest concern. They go to kind of duty when you go near them. They come over and take a big chunk out of Pudge's butt. So I don't want that to happen. I like quite like pudgy uh being as a whole not in pieces in the stomach of some gigantic bastard so i'm trying to stay in all the crevices and kind of keep out of the way there oh god i exploded the kind of scared me a little bit there is the ship that i've already been through and been on so the um the the floaty balloon kind of things are just on the other side of this so we're going the right direction that is the first good sign can't really see much out here because it's dark as dicks there we go the first sign of where we want to be they're not really floating right now but all the floating ones are up in the air a bit more there you go you can kind of see it over there so they take big chunks of landmass with them so like i don't know maybe there's something hiding uh in here somewhere either maybe like a research base or some technology i don't know what i don't know how but hopefully i'll find something new and good that looks like another sea truck module that looks like something else doesn't look like anything i've already got let's go and quickly give it a quick little cheeky scan that was the drop pod that i've already gone and emptied what what is my oh oh whoa Okay, you open your mouth like a freaking predator. Well, you know what? Uh, ah, I'm just gonna ram your butt like you rammed mine. You did a fair bit of damage to him. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You made Pudge mad. You can try and swim away all you want, but I'm gonna ram my pudgy stick down your opening throat. Get over here. Yeah, look, you can go. You can open up and welcome me all you want. I don't care. I'm gonna ram you to death. Come here, you squinty fuck. All right, I guess I showed him because he took off a running. Let's just check the, re uh, the reversing cameras to make sure. Yep, up. Oh, no one's coming up behind me. Man, they've been reading some dogfighting tactics books because they are—they know how to do it. They come up from behind, take a big old chunk out of my buttocks. There we go. Leave you there. Now, while I'm out, I might actually just quickly give you a cheeky bit of repair because you um. I mean, look, that wasn't a great time for you. It wasn't a great time for me either. None of us really enjoyed that. But as long as you're back to ship shop shape, then I'll feel a bit better about it. Where was that? Where was that thing I wanted? Just there. It's stuck over here. The other aquarium module fragment. Oh, yes. We can build an aquarium. One more to go. Build an aquarium on the back of Pudgy Boy here. And we can bring all our penguin pals out for adventures. 
Oh, hello, squiddy boy. There's another squid down there. It's like an octopus thing. It's got like an opening mouth, but it's also got all the tentacles and stuff. It's all very weird, but it doesn't stop me from ramming it. Ah, oh, come in. So it doesn't do any damage to me if I do that. Might do a little bit, like if I do it a consecutive amount of times, but like if I just keep on going and keep on bonking, then uh, I don't think I'm going to get much damage done to, to Pudgy as much if I let one of these idiots just wrap his tentacles around me and have his way with me. I heard ya. Ow! See? That did like 12 damage. Doesn't do anything to ram him. Come here. Come here. I may not have prawn suit anymore, but I can still do some damage. Get over here! It's making lots of squelchy noises. I'm not sure if I can actually kill these guys or not, but I'm trying my damnedest. I'm, trying, I'm really just inside the gills of this bastard. We're gonna go, mate. Oh, wow. Pudgy's really hurt, actually. You know what? I take everything back. Pudgy's seen some better days. Let's get down. Let's get out of there and go somewhere I can repair you. I was having my way with those squiddies and I was having a good old time about it. Then I realized that Pudgy's definitely not enjoying it as much as I was. All right. The good news is, though, I can still repair him from just inside, though. I've got plenty of battery left in my repair tool. He sounds pretty mad at me. That, that makes sense though. If there's a punch sized hole in the left cheek of that squid, he's probably pretty annoyed at me. Here we go, back to full health. Repair my caboose as well. Yep, no, we're all good. Okay, so you always gotta bring the repair tool with you. You never know what might happen. You never know what monsters you might fight, but you gotta be prepared. Oh, oh, there is something over there. I'm not sure what, but I've just gone, I mean, I've just gone down into the first crevice I found in the, uh, in the floating balloons. Is this precursor or is this uh, like Altera? It, it looks precursor. Okay, that's following me though. I have to scan the precursor technology. Hopefully there's like more than just one here. Jump on out. There is a sea monkey cruising around there. I want to stay away from him. What did what are you? I can't I can't scan you for some reason. Why why can't I scan this? This is definitely something that should be able to be scanned. Why can't I scan this? Now, cannot scan any of this kind of stuff. It's not very fun. I got really excited about getting to scan, scan some things and he just ripped it away from me. There's a sea monkey out there hovering around and caused me some issues. Oi! Go fight the squids up there. Look, that way. Go. Over there. Oh, no. You too. Uh, ah! You better not steal my fucking grav gun. You stole my grav gun. How did you even do that? Give, bring it back. Bring it back. Give me, give me that. There you go. I'll stab you in your stupid praying mantis face. I had that to specifically to get rid of you guys. And you just did not care. Come here. Go get eaten by a giant squid. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Oh, well, I'm not sure what this thing is. But I'm pretty upset that I can't scan it. But I'll keep on heading deeper. Look, I'm only halfway down into the max crush depth of my pudge. So I can get a whole lot further down. I don't know if this place going to lead anywhere though. Maybe it leads me back into like, the volcano caverns. Maybe it leads me to a research base. Uh-oh. Fuck Otha, do you gotta come jump scare me again? You know how many lawsuits are out on me? How could I? You haven't even told me your name. That name comes with a price. You really wanna know? Come see me. The car on the door is 2247. I mean, I kinda don't wanna. Look at all the glowworms in here. Jesus Christ. So, like, what? She's living in this, like, abandoned underwater base down here? I was just cruising through and I found Prawn Suit Penny. I am not excited about that because I do not like her. I kind of want to leave Pudgy out here just in case I need to like escape nice and quickly, but like I just don't know. I don't know. And my, my excitement at finding this place. Because look, this, I mean, that looks like a moon pool just there. That looks like a moon pool and like a big room and like a, a roof. Oh, is that just a broken roof? I'm not sure. But like, this is all new stuff and I was super excited to find it. But now the Prawn Suit Penny's here, I'm suddenly super anxious about it. God, I hate her. I'm just leaving Pudge there, which is probably pretty bold of me, but I want to scan this. Is this a moon pool? It is a moon pool. Just for a fragment though, do I get all of it from this one? Oh, yes I do. There is the moon pool. I can now build it and rename Pudge to be Pudge and also make him purple because let's be honest, he needs to be purple. If he's cruising around me in the deeper darks, he's going to need to be purple. What else can I, what else can I scan from here? Are you something new? Are you, no, you're nothing. Oh, large, large glass dome. I can make glass ceilings? Fuck yeah, boy. All right, let's grab that. Thank you very much. Scan you all the way up. Uh, I thought you were just a broken ceiling, but I guess... Oh my God, look at that. Oh, the old... The old foe. The old enemy. God, they don't look any less scary when they're just a skull. The old Leviathans were no small deal. I'm pretty excited to see that he's dead, though. I'd much rather him be dead than currently try to make me dead. What was that? I scanned something and it's brought up the Seamoth option, but it didn't give me a title to go with it. it. just said one out of three. So I scanned something new, but I don't know what it was. Uh, blueprints. Okay, it'll probably be in the vehicle options, I suppose. <laughs> Cooked newt fish. Is it called newt because it looks like Pingu when it goes, newt, newt? 
Because he definitely looks like he's gone, no, no. Oh, good old Pingu. Uh, headlamp, I need to make one of those. Ion battery you need for that. That's expensive. Probably an old gear now on that one. Sea truck teleportation module. What was the thing I just picked up? Seconds. Oh, fine. I'll go back to freaking Pudge then. If you're going to interrupt my reading time by telling me that I might need some oxygen to continue surviving, then I'll just have to go back and ignore you for a second. You know, like priorities, dude. I'm only right trying to gain some knowledge and you're just trying to keep my lungs full of oxygen. How inconsiderate. So nothing showed up in the mobile vehicle bay. I've already got, like, I've already had the aquarium thing. That's got a question mark. Uh, sea truck planter module. I mean, I could really make a really long, like, kind of road train or sea train, I suppose, out of this. Turn a sea truck into a sea train. All right, well, I don't know what I picked up then, but let's go exploring the rest of this. Hopefully, there's some more technology here. I got, like, the big large room blueprint and the glass dome and the moon pool. Oh, so, so far, so good. Does she have a freaking giant blade for an arm on her prawn suit? Bruh. Come on, M99. That's not on. You can't be doing that shit. Well, I'm not going in there. That looks horrifying. Can I, like, squeeze in here? Can I get in this way? No, oh, oh, that looks like a motorbike. Can I get a motorbike? Can I get a sea bike? I don't know, but I want to get inside there. All right, well, I guess I have to go in the moon pool. I didn't want to, but you forced my hand. Oh, please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me. Oh, no, okay, she just left her prawn suit here for anyone to find. Climb ladder, up we go. I'm so nervous. I hate I hate jump scares so much that I get so scared about it, like having a jump scare that I freaking start panicking about it before it even happens. Let's scan her bloody apocalyptic prawn suit. Marguerite's prawn. No, you can't be called Marguerite. You're Penny. Prawn suit Penny. I'm ignoring the fact that this says you're Marguerite. I do not give a shit. You are Penny. You will be Penny and you will forever be Penny. Oh, okay. So Marguerite Mida is apparently, or Mida. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Like, this is the thing. Penny is so much easier. Uh, what do you tell me? Standard issue of Terra Prawn Suit customized with a chel chelicerate mandible? God, it just, it just looks horrifying. Do not like. No, thank you. 2247 to get in. All right, Penny, I'm coming for you. What I might do, though, I might just quickly do a little cheeky little save because I feel like it's about to go real badly for me. Uh, can I scan you? No, nothing else he can be scanned. You look broken and floaty, but that's all right. Uh, get over there. Uh, let's go in. Do I want to go with the blade or do I want to go with... Uh, the knife. Or oh, the knife or the or propulsion cannon. Probably the knife. I mean, it's going to be a gunfight sooner or later anyway. I may as well give it a red hot crack with my red hot knife. Uh, here we go. Two, two, four, seven. Okay. Open. Oh, it's a cutscene. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm leaning back. No. Oh, see, this is the thing. I'm panicking. You son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. I knew you were going to jump scare me. And there it fucking was. Oh, it's a fucking blue tongue puppy. It's like a big river blue tongue lizard. Don't give a shit, Penny. Yeah. Fuck off with your nonsense. You, you trained a stalker? How long have you been here? Too long. That alien tablet you had, I needed. You mean this thing? What do I care what you need? What do you care about? Lady. I want off this jumped up puddle of a planet. If I help you, will you give me the tablet? If you help me, I won't kill you. It's a start. You can stay here to catch your breath. The moment you're ready, get off my sea base. I hate you so much. You and your stupid dog. Can I just like grab that out of his mouth? Can't just grab, grab, put your dildos up in the air and grab the stupid spines on his back. Can I take anything off you? No? Okay, well, so you've gone from trying to kill me to just be like, hey, why don't you just hang out in my crib? Uh, actually, this is the wrong thing, actually. What, what is this? Can I scan? Oh, oh, uh, sea truck perimeter defense upgrade. Don't mind me stealing your shit, mate. I'm just going through all your possessions and taking what I deem valuable to myself and then scanning you with a stupid blue laser. For all you know, I'm going around with a bloody men in black thing and making you forget all about this. It's going to be my blue tongue puppy. Uh, don't care about your stupid fake name. Your name is Penny. Why can't I scan this thing? This is something clearly interesting and fun. Why won't you let me have something interesting and fun? There's nothing else in that big room. It's going to go into a little private quarter. She's really um being very hospitable for someone who hates my guts, isn't she? Uh, what have we got in here? Anything you can give me in here that I can scan? There's more parts the one doesn't care about. Uh, some fish in the window. Oh, a fridge. Well, <laughs> I'm going to raid your fridge while I'm here. That looks good to me. What did you, you give me? Can I make one at home? 
I scanned it and it meant freaking nothing. Come on, game. Come on. I don't want to store my fish in a nice, cool place. They're all going rotten back home. I have to keep them alive in a tank. If you just let me put them in a fridge, I wouldn't have that issue. Oh, good. So I can't have a fridge, but you're going to give me a shower? Is that what's going to happen? No, nope, not give it to me either. Is, there, is this just like not going into the thing? I could have... I mean, I still got five new ones that looked in here last. Hydrochloric acid and poly... N wait, wait. Polyaniline. Okay, fair enough. Um... Where's all the other new ones? If I, if I get in the shower in the fridge, I will feel a lot, lot better about this. Because otherwise, I'm worried I'm not getting new stuff anymore. See, trap perimeter defense. Um, do I have to make that or do I get one? I'll check the inventory in a second. What else is here? Two new things in here somewhere, apparently. Oh, there we go. Fridge and shower. Okay, so we did get them after all. That makes me feel a whole lot better. And I did already get it. All right, sweet deal. Thank you for letting me raid all your gubbins. I'm going to put that in Pudge outside and a toilet as well. Well, we're really starting to get some, uh, some living uh, 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 refinements of life coming in now. This is, this is good. This is good. You know, I can be cleanly and nice before I go swimming in the ocean. Have a shower before I take a bath in the big blue bath. So I'm really curious about how this, like, this big thing works. So I'm currently in one big building, like the big rectangle room. But like it's separated into different uh, different places and different rooms. So maybe there's like a way to like build, like you know customize the thing and make your own like DIY building. I'm not sure. I have to check it out when I get back home. Uh, what do I? What What do you want me to do with you? Do I have to check like your uh, your information profile for you to tell me what's going on, Marguerite? Okay, let's uh, get off my sea base. Okay, well what what do you want me to do? You said I have to help you to get the tablet or be kept alive. What do you need from me? Profile confidential. Let us help you at all. All right, I don't know, and I don't particularly care anymore. Look, I'll close the door. See you, hopefully, never again. Or at least, you know, just kind of give me some sort of warning before you or your stupid blue tongue dog jump out at me all over again. But I want to go home, and I want to build myself a moon pool. I mean, I haven't gone too far away. Won't take me too long to get back there. But I want that moon pooly goodness, and now I have the blueprint. Although I should probably do the right thing and just explore the last little bit of this. But I don't know what she wants. You know, like she's like, oh, you know, I have to help her. Well, how do you want me to help her? You can't just be like, you have to help me to figure out a way to do it. Normally when you say that, you have something in mind. Like go to the shops, get your belly bag of Doritos. Or, you know, like, carry your dog up a hill or go for a walk or something like that. Why don't you just tell me what you want and make her life so much easier? Before I go, actually, uh, upgrade modules in here. There we go. Now, I don't know what this actually does. I guess we'll find out when one of the squiddies comes to try and suck it onto my face again. Let's grab you. Do I have to like equip it or something? No, it just... I... Okay, apparently I click and it just fucking EMPs or electrocutes whoever's attached to me. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Hopefully it's got a little bit of range. I have to wait till they're right up in my grills to, to activate it. Uh, all right, well, I guess we're going to go deeper. That's kind of the whole thing behind Subnautica. Just keep going deeper. Oh my god, and boy does it get deep. I scanned another random thing and it still says nothing happening. In fact, was that, is that the planter? Is that what that thing is telling me about? Check the blueprints again. I've never checked the blueprints so much in my life for this. Uh, where was it? Was it in like the mobile vehicle bay? There's no way to search, which is always annoying. It was the planter. Okay, I need one more and then I'll be good to go with the planter thing. Where's Pudge? There he is, hanging out just above me. Like my guardian angel that this legend is. Um... All right, well, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Let's just keep on searching around. So, oh, hopefully that's the last little piece. And then where do I go? I guess just down the big open gullet over there. Jump out of you and up and out. Now, if this is the other side of the planner, then I guess we're good to go. I don't know how many things I want to attach to my uh, my sea truck because it slows it down each time. Sea truck planner. There we go. We finally got it done. Well, however deep that is, I know it's definitely more than like what the like 60 meters of depth I've currently got left on sea trucks. I might just have to leave him just up here. Oh, shut up. I've got fluid in the back there. Just give me two seconds. I'm going to try and stay kind of right on the nipple. Like if I can stay just above the 500, I'll be all right. This is like a massive lava. Oh, shit. Almost a 500. It's like a massive lava tube. Hopefully it's not something big. And Maximum depth reached. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Pudge. Sorry, Pudge. I know, I know, I know. Ooh. Well, that led me to nowhere. I went through all of that risk for no reward. That's very upsetting. However, I remember this will be like added into later on in the game or something. This is clear. I mean, it's still the early access to it. It's not finished yet. So maybe there'll be more stuff down there later on, like somewhere like deep subterranean place to go. I don't know. But like, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now other than go home and make my sweet new moon pool. Here we go. A bit thirsty. So grab both of those. I mean, you go down on water so much faster than you do on food, which is always kind of annoying. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. Now I do see... Like down there, is that something interesting? There's lots of propulsion cannon fragments down there as well. So I'm clearly supposed to go down there at some points. 
They look like something interesting, so I might just quickly jump on down there and see what the goal is. I mean, a little bit of exploration never hurt anyone until you come across a leviathan and promptly get eaten by it. What are these things? Are they just crystals? They're sweet pearl. Oh my goodness, there's purple crystals. Guys, there's purple crystals. I think I found my new home. That's it. We're breaking everything down. We're moving down here. This would be a lovely place to live. It's so pretty. Oh! Oh, no, I take it back. This is not a nice place to live. It's not pretty. It's fucking death on toast. Look at the size of that slippery soap and fuck. Yeah, nah. Yeah, fucking nah, buddy. That ain't happening today. I will take the quartz though, because quartz is always valuable. I'm going back to Pudge, the safety of Pudge. Well, that's clearly where I've got to go later on then. So I need more depth modules in Pudgy to get down there. Or some depth modules in Prawn Soup, which I still haven't named yet. Because, like, Prawn Soup Penny rolls the tongue so well. So, like, you know, I don't want to name... I uh, kind of call it, like, Prawn Soup Pete or something like that. Because it gets too confusing. Plus, uh, the paint Was it the Penguin's name was Pete? I can't remember anymore. There's too many names flying around. It's all over the gaff. Let's go home. Let's build ourselves a moon pool. Oh my god, everything's kicking off. I came into this inspector as a nice leisurely swim, and it's turned into an adventure. Before I go home, just in case I am as much of a Muppet as everybody thinks I am, me included, I'm gonna go back inside and just quickly see if I could like just talk to her, you know? Maybe like leaving, coming back will be enough to like kind of instigate the next part of it. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Please don't have your stupid blue tongue dog jump on me again. That was a no bueno last time. My butthole is still clenched after that. Why is it, where, where is she? Where, where, where is she gone? Oi, Penny. Are you in here somewhere? Do I need to lock on the door before I come into the bathroom? Nope, you're not on the loo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is bad. Guys, did I break it? Well, I'm supposed to talk to her, but now she's gone. I mean, I'm just raiding her house while she's not here, but like, I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Where is she? Uh, was her, um, was her prawn suit still there? I thought it was. I didn't seem to miss what I was saying. No, it's still there. Oh, where the nipples is she gone? Whatever. Don't care. Not my issue anymore. She's already scared me half to death twice. So, like, you know, fool me once, fool me twice, that whole thing. I'm not getting fooled for a third time, although I guarantee you I will. She'll jump out of nowhere at some point again. Let's, uh, get up and get out of here. I think that's the way out. I'm not sure. I didn't really explore the, uh, the floating balloons biome, like, at all. I kind of went in there, went down one hole, and found the next part of the game. So I need to explore the, uh, the balloons a little bit more. You never know what you might find. That's where I came from up there, I think. But I just need to, you know, make sure I'm going around and getting everything I possibly can. And now, when those stupid squiddy fucks come for me, I've got an electronic charge ready to put down their gills. There's one of those squiddy Jeffreys trying to eat the sea monkeys. Oh, God. Oh, he's got a big old mouth. No, piss off. Piss off, you big whaley fuck. You know what? Come here. Ah, oh, wait. Why can't I... There we go. Okay, it didn't work the first time. So it just kind of scares him off. Doesn't kill him, doesn't fry him, which is upsetting. Wrap him in some batter, and I'm sure he tastes delicious. Uh, where... I mean, I'm out of the cave at the very least. I'm not sure where I am. I'm under some sort of big netting. Is, is, there, is there more to this place? I, I don't know. All I want is just to stay away from the... Because things with the big mouths. The big mouths are what I'm trying to avoid. Anything else is good. Is that another half of the ship? That is definitely some more ship. All right, well, let's, uh, I see we found something else down here. Let's go exploring this too, because why not? Oh, just look at that. Look at that. Here we go, Pudgy. In, ah, oh, damn it. Get in the hole. Get in the hole, Pudgy. Thunk. Oh, come on. Get in there. It's perfectly pudge shaped. It's right there. Uh oh, now I'm stuck. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that that really nice, well lit part just here is probably a doorway. And yes, sir, we Bob, it is. All right, well, before I go in there, though, let's quickly just repair our Pudgy Boy. Uh, how am I looking for food and water? Not particularly great, so let's quickly take the moment just to go in here, grab the grab trap, and just bang it outside the back door. We never know what we might find, but some extra little fishes will probably be pretty nice. So just hopefully, I mean, oh god. Oh god, what has happened to you? What has happened to my grab trap? It is all sorts of cooked, but hopefully you don't catch anything big. Hopefully you're restricted to just catching little things. Because if you start bringing in big boys over here, I'm going to be pretty upset with you. And I'll stretch you out more than you stretch. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. Apparently this place is just like literally swimming with fish. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's pulling stuff from inside the bloody ship, which is kind of interesting. Apparently, there's lots of things in there, too. That's quite a bit of reach on the old stretchy grab trap. I'm taking all the feather fish and, like, harvesting with my knife. And also got a bunch of bladder fish out of it. So definitely not upset about that at all. Grab you, grab you. I'm going to take all I can. When I come back later, there'll probably be some more. Grab you as well. There we go. All right, how are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty bloody good. Let's uh, let's move the grab trap out a little bit so it's not grabbing the, the fish inside the ship. Let's go, like, up here, I suppose. God, there's just shit everywhere down here. 
Is that being held up by a balloon? Yes, it is. That's a little bit scary. I hope it doesn't come, doesn't come loose. Look at that. From just two seconds outside, I now have all of this stuff. But all this fish is giving me, like, negative stats. Oh, that one's, like, plus, plus 23. Okay, I'll eat you. But the rest of these are real bad for me. Less health, but food... Why, why are they so bad? Okay, well, I can still uh, drink the water at the very least. Drink some of you. There we go. I got the nutrient brick in the box. I might just grab that, put some waters back in, grab the nutrient brick, and eat that bad boy. I don't know why the rest of this fish is, uh, is so mad at me. Maybe stabbing with, like, a, a fiery blade was probably not good for him. Throw all that away. Just litter all the fish on the sea floor. That's probably going to call in some big Jeffries to come and snack on the leftovers. God, it's haunting down here. Like, the visibility going to be like 50 meters definitely doesn't make me feel good about it. But whatever. Let's get inside and see what we can find. Oh, I don't know. Is there going to be something good in here? I found something good in the last one. There's a door to be cut open as well. Let's make sure we find the first oxygen plant, though. We don't want to be down here with no idea where we can get more oxygen. Sealed supply plate cut open to access. All right. Well, fair enough, then. Let's replace my stupid fire knife, because apparently it just makes my fish unedible. Or inedible, if I can talk properly. There we go. All right. Cut you open. How do I... Are you, are you, are you doing it? I, oh, okay. Apparently we are. Reactor rod. Oh, and nuclear reactor fragment. Okay, well, let's be scanning all the, the, the scanner. Scan everything we possibly can. Nice, Gary. What else is in here? Anything else for me? No, not really. In fact, that was all I needed for the nuclear reactor. Oh boy, we're about to cook with uranium. I'm running out of oxygen, but that's okay. I'm going to cut open this door because hopefully there's something good on the other side. There we go. No jump scares, please. Yes, no, we're good. Wow, this place is sick though. Still, oh, there's an oxygen plant over there. I was going to say, still no sign of any oxygen, but there we go. We've got some just here. Let's grab you. Are you going to lead me somewhere cool? No, you're like a broken down hatch. All right, fair enough. Well, what's in here then? What have you brought me here to do? There's so many doors for me to cut through. Thank God i got extra batteries. I think my laser was going to run out before long. Oh, wow. Is this like the bridge? This seconds. looks like the bridge. This place is so much bigger than the last half of the ship. Well, if I found, I mean, I found an important story thing in the last ship, so there's probably something pretty similar in this one. Let's get that oxygen plant over there as well. I mean, oh, and like a secret little vent. All right, fair enough. I like secret little vents. Let's go explore. Let's go having a look. What's in here? Other than just scary fucking noises, game. Chill your beans, please. I'm a nice boy. I'm just going inside you and uh, not really like asking much about it. Where does it spat me out? Is it? Am I just like back out near the start? Where the hell am I? All right, I'm running out of air, and it's a long way back through the vents to try and get back to the old oxygen plant. So maybe I can find a new one going this way. It's a pretty big gamble, but uh, what else do we expect from me? Of course, I'm going to gamble on finding a new one when I could clearly, sh I probably should actually, just go back the way I came. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to die in this fucking hole, aren't I? Come on, come on. Please, oxygen plant. Oxygen plant upstairs. Go faster, sea glide. Oh, I saw the glowies. I saw the glowies and got excited. I thought it was going to be it. Oh, someone in there. In there. Nope. None. All right. I'm just going to die in this ship then. Josh, stop gambling on finding oxygen plants. It doesn't work out for you. You didn't even need to die there. Last time you died, it was because you found the prawn suit. That was totally worth it. That time, you're just a fucking clown and you left all that good shit behind. What did I actually lose, actually? I got the reactor, which is pretty good, but I lost, what, my, um, some food and some water and stuff? Okay, not that big of a deal. Oh, and I spawned back in, I spawned back in Pudge. All right, no whackers at all. Let's go back inside. Oh, um, out. I want to go out, please. There we go. I'm going to treat this like a maze because it's a real big place and it's hard to keep track of everything. I'm going to stick to the left wall and hopefully find my stuff that way. Is that another reactor fragment that I need? Depleted reactor rod. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I can make some uranium shells out of that or something. Uh, let's go upstairs. Just keep following, keep following the left path. And hopefully, I'll get through everything if I just keep following this way. Otherwise, I don't know. I'll just get lost again, probably die. But I died anyway. So, I mean, what's, what's the difference? So, there's some more crates and stuff in there. And another secret little tube to go through the walls. So you'll find another one of those at some point. Went through one that led to the bridge. Let's keep going this way. So, oxygen plants actually respawn relatively quickly. So, if I don't be an idiot about it, I could probably just stay in that one little room with the two oxygen plants and just kind of cycle between them and kind of keep myself at max oxygen. Was it in here? I think there was one in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is up there. All right, let's just take this little, like, kind of step by step. Let's not try to overreach too early too quickly. Uh, let's cut down that door. Let's just, let's just take one step at a time, one door at a time. Old Chinese potato seeds. Uh, well, I mean, not seeds, but like potatoes themselves, but you can turn potatoes into more potatoes. If the Martian taught me anything, that's what they're good for. Plus, they look like eggs. 
Is that more? It is more. Okay, well, I'll keep those and, like, you know, turn them into some more crops later on. Uh, let's grab you guys as well. We got a proper reactor one or a depleted one. Yes, it is. There is, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I need to go back outside, get some more oxygen, go back home and uh, drop some shit off back at Pudge. No, I don't want to lose this stuff. Um, I'm stuck on the stairs. Up, up, up. There we go. Okay, out this way. Here you go back to the oxygen plant at the very least. But yeah, I don't wanna, I've got some good stuff, you know? I want to go make sure that I'm keeping this safe when I die sometime in the future by being a Muppet all over again. I'm slowly but surely making my way through everywhere. So I've gone through that whole room over there. Didn't really find much. Lots of boxes, but most of them were empty, actually, funnily enough. My sea glider just ran out of batteries. That's fine. I found some batteries along the journey. So I could crack this bad boy open. Oh, that's about to run out of power, too. Can I keep scanning? No, I, I, I was still clicking away, but it turns out it wasn't to be. Uh, no, I thought I picked up some batteries somewhere. I guess not. All right, scan out. You're about to donate your battery to the greater good. The greater good. All right, you and to you. Need to open that one up with that battery. And then we can put that battery into our sea glide. I mean, I've got the batteries back at, at Pudge, but like, I'll last long enough now to get back there and swap it over next time I'm back home again. Don't really need it right now. What's more important is to keep on moving through while I've got the oxygen to last me. Oh, that looks like a planter bed. Oh, can I scan you? No, I can't. Is there anything else in here I can scan? Another planter bed? Can't scan you either. All right, cool beans. If I can't build myself a planter now, I've got those Chinese potato seeds. I'm going to be pretty upset. Let's see what's down the other end of this. Hopefully this leads to the other side of that window that I saw before. It looks like it does. Yes, thank you. Take you. Can't break you open. What about this one? Sealed. I've got some power left in my laser cutter. Churning through the batteries like no tomorrow. Another one of you. So I hope, I mean, I might as well just use, uh, I make myself a nuclear reactor. I can know I've got the stuff to make it. What else would I use the reactor cores for? I don't think I have any other use. Trying to see if there's anything else for me around here. I've already been through, like, the, the bridge area, but I'll go check it out again. I keep, like, trying to turn my head to the sides to try to make it all look straight to me again. It's a real hard habit to try and break. Uh, plus, there's some oxygen plants in here, so I can kind of hang out in here for a little while and fill up my oxygen again. Grab you. Grab the other one as well. I'm not really seeing much, though. I've already been through that vent. Where where else is there to go though? I haven't found anything of a particular note. Just a whole bunch of supplies and stuff. I don't know. I've, I I bet you I'm missing something. And once I'm done, people will be like, "Oh, you should have gone and done, uh, you know done that or scared this or whatever." But now, like right here, right now, I can't find what else, anything else here that really tickles my fancy. All right, I don't know. I don't know what else is out, uh, in this place for me. So I'm just going to jump back in Pudge and head back home. Look at my grab trap doing all the good things out there. I could jump inside you to get some oxygen real quick. Uh, I don't really need anything other than maybe some water. Got any bladder fish for me? Got lots of feather fish. There's a bladder fish just there. Did one of the fish in the grab trap just eat a different fish in the grab trap? I mean, that's pretty rude. The grab trap's here for my purposes to, like, eat you all. Not for you to, uh, you guys to eat each other. That's very inconsiderate. Oh. Oh, there's toothy torpedoes up there. Oh, oh God, there's squiddies down here, too. Let's get back in Pudge. Pudge is safety. Pudge is life. Oh, well, I don't know, guys. If there's something good down there for me, then please let me know. Let's have a look at it in the reversing camera. Oh, it looks kind of nice. Yes, it does. Well, I'm going to go back home. Uh, oh, there's, like, a big drop-off here as well. Some toothy torpedoes down there. Where does this go to? I can see some more vents, buddy. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, how do I how do I activate my pulsar again? My, my little electromagnetic shock thing? I feel like I need it. Whenever I do need it, I try and press it. It doesn't do anything. Let's test on this toothy torpedo. Oh my god! What the shit is that? Oh, oh my god! No, no, no! Oh shit! Holy shit on toast! Oh, no! Time to go! Time to go! I didn't do anything other than just, like, spice up his tongue. I'm basically like a chili to him, and I feel like he's got a taste for me now. <gasps> Holy shit on scones, on crackers, on toast, on all sorts of forms of food. I am getting out of here. Give me a rusty wrench and do me up tight. That's how fucking close shut my butthole is right now. I almost got fucking eaten. So even now, after I successfully like fought off that giant spiky worm thing, I still don't know how I did it. I just kind of mashed the mouse buttons and pressed two a couple of times to try and get it to work. I really need to figure out how that happens. So like, is it right click? No, right click is that. <laughs> That was left click. See, that worked that time. When I tried it before, it just didn't do anything. I don't know. Let's try it again. 
All right, I think I think we can safely say that it is left click. Oh look, here's the other half of that ship. I hope I'm going back the right way. I guess I'm guessing where prawn suit is. Oi, alligator bastard! You want to come over here? I got something for you. I gave a nice little chilly surprise. Jesus Christ, I'm exploding! Nice little chilly surprise to your other big spiky friend. Do you want one too? Here we go. Yep, come on, come on. I see you. I see you. Gonna come for me? Yes, you are. And yes. All right, we got a we got a way to fight back that isn't punching and isn't just ramming our nose into the sphincters of our enemies. Here we go, back home again. Uh, well, I feel like you know the first thing I need to do is build myself that move pool so let's go up here let's move all the vehicles just up the top here so that i have all the available space to build it downstairs i do have that allocated spot just over there but i didn't i forgot how big the moon pool actually was it may not actually fit over there i'm not sure we'll give it a red hot crack though let's put you up onto the top just like this you can walk around on the roof for a while um do i even have the habitat tool on me i think i might let's go like this Got lots of depleted reactor rods and some usable reactor rods, which is good. Let's grab you, swap over for that one. Five, what do you need for a moon pool? Uh, vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. So I might need some more solar panels or the nuke or... Ah. Ah, ah, okay, that might be an issue. Although, I mean, I don't... I have to dock the prawn suit into it as well. I can't just use like it just for the sea trucks. Like maybe this is not a great idea putting it here because it's going to drop whatever I put in there down into the chasm of death. Interesting. Okay. Well, what about, uh, let's go like this actually. Let's go here. Let's take the window out of that one as much as I like it and see if I can attach it off the side of there. You're going to let me do it that way. Can I rotate you? I cannot rotate you. Why can't I rotate anything anymore? What's going on? It just doesn't want to let me do it. So I might just bang it there. I mean, it's going to drop some of the things onto this down here. In fact, I probably could build just like a little a little foundation down here to catch whatever comes out of it, I suppose. Seconds. Oh, would we'll you shut up. Oh, I broke the hatch on my... I took away the hatch on top of my bloody uh, base. I can't actually get into it right now. All right, prawn suit, you're about to be my best friend. Jump back in you. What do I actually need for that moon ball? I didn't even check that before I started trying to build it. I sat on top of the hologram. Yes, I can. In fact, let's not do that. Though. Let's have a look at where it would actually fall. I'm going to come down here and land right on the cusp of a giant trench of death. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Just hey, chill out just there. There you go. I should probably definitely almost certainly build a foundation for this. I'm going to lose something down that trench. I can see it now. I think that'll do there. Let's have a quick little look. That's just about perfect. It's covering up the main part of the hole. Doesn't really matter to me where this is as such. Just as long as there's something there to protect me from it. Uh, I'm going to need another hatch on here. I've used some of the... In fact, you know what? No, let's get rid of you. And let's go another tube off there like that. And then put the hatch on the end. At some point, you're going to let me do it. Or I have to build the whole thing before you let me put another piece on. You bastard. All right, well... I can't get inside my base right now, which is kind of embarrassing. So I'm going to have to go find myself some more bloody titanium or something. What do I need for it? I need titanium and quartz, I think. Uh, five, just yet yeah, two titaniums. All right, that's fine. And then for that, I need another two titaniums. Four titaniums coming up. Well, that'll do nicely for me. I've already got the sea glider already. So just scanning these things here will give me some extra bits of titanium. Already found a couple because, I mean, I'm unlucky in this game. So every time I search anything that could have something nice in it, it gives me titanium anyway. Just like that. Could give me copper? No, gives me titanium. But jokes on you, game. Once in my life, I actually want titanium. All right, we're good. That should be all I need to get this sorted. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things to build right now. And it's kind of ruined the... Oh, look at that big pile right there. It's kind of ruined the aesthetics that I wanted for my base, but that's okay. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made to make it like, actually work properly. Put you like that. Don't stick your legs out. Yes, you did. You skank. All right, there we go. Put you on the edge of you there too. Is that all I'm going to need for that one? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. And lastly, we can go... I need the lead for that one. I'm having a lead inside. Now that we've got that sorted out... Welcome aboard, Captain. You fucking what game? There's supposed to be a doorway right here into the rest of the base. Why? Why? Why did you do that? Why are you such a goddamn sausage? There we go. I had to build a new component. It was just a T piece in there. I needed an X piece. Let's go like that. That should hopefully now work. Yes, it does. God, it looks cool. I, I love the building of Subnautica, and I always will. Uh, what do I need for it? I needed lead at the very least. That was for the, um, what should we call it? The foundation at the bottom to catch whatever I have in my moon pool. Nothing in there. Do I have no lead? I've got the bloody uh, resource finder if I need to. 
Well, I could have sworn I had some lead in here somewhere. All right, this is actually going to take a little bit of time. I need titanium ingots, lubricant, and lead for that one. So I need more titanium out of you. And then I need two lead for us. So four lead and two titanium ingots. I've got the lubricant, but that's going to be a bit of a job. I have to go and search for those and find all the ingredients that I'm going to need. But this episode has been going for a while already, so I don't want to, you know, overstay my welcome and potentially dehydrate myself to death because I have always oh, some fluid right there, actually. Never mind. Let's go like this. Drink that one. I have a random bladder fish on me still from who knows knows when. I'm just rather hasn't died of suffocation just yet. Let's make myself some more fluids like that. Get myself back up to right as rain. There we go. Okay, so I need to drop off all those materials and go to find the stuff to build the rest of that and make some more progress. And then I think it's going to be time to head out to those things over there. That's the next kind of stage of the story that I think I've got. So I'll head out there, see what Prawn Suit Penny wants with me and see what is out there. Well, I'll have to do that in the next episode. But before I sign off for the day, just a quick reminder that on Sunday, my Sunday, America's Saturday night. The episode will be coming out two hours early. We're changing the time slot around a little bit to account for daylight savings time because if I didn't change the time slot, the videos would come out at one in the morning on the East Coast. That is far too late at night or far too early at night, depending on how you look at it, for my videos to be coming out to what is effectively the majority of my audience. There will be a slight change two hours early starting on Sunday the 5th. So keep that in mind, but I'll have to come back and play some more Subnautica in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.